Hi guys, it's me Keisha here at the Enchanted Dream Capture. I, if you're new here, welcome. I post two video, two new videos twice a week, and on this channel, I talk about all things magical, witchy, life, and everything in between. If you, you may have noticed that my background is different. I am actually coming to you from Ohio. I am currently in my cousin's bedroom and I feel like such like a proper YouTuber like with a sort of like proper background with and um, like with like you know like with the bird with the white without like all my sort of like witchy clutter but this is just a yeah just a quick one just a little mini book haul so from my fave Barnes and Noble and from Half Price Books so let's get into it so from Half Price Books I got two things I got the Green Wiccan spell book by Celia or Celia, I can never ever say her name, but I always used to read her comment um, her column when she used to write for Spirit and Destiny, and I have quite a few of and I have she's published a few different books and I have all of those. And I saw this one and I was like, oh, it's so pretty and it's a little hardback, and um it says delve into this treasure trove to deepen your knowledge of wicked witchcraft and strengthen your magical powers include spells to use in all walks of life including love money luck work and relationships and then you get to discover magical tricks and tips the secrets of her success discover how to adapt spells for your personal use as well as how to write your own so i just love as well you can see like the um silver foiling as well i just thought it's such it's a really nice pretty book as well and I absolutely love the way it's laid out and the illustrations inside it's just so pretty just it's just such a really nicely published really nicely laid out book and I love how you can just sort of uh, dip in and dip out of it so there's all sorts of stuff like sort of a little bit on background and about different elements um and about obviously different pagan paths and then you've got then you start to get into sort of um uh sort of like magical items and then about magic and about adapting spells and writing your own spells and like sort of composition of spells and there's different stuff it's like your love spell sort of uh, things to like um spice up your sex life and promote calm love and um, stuff like to strengthen relationships and you've got sort of friend and family spells like nurture repair friendship uh take care of family look after a pet you've got all different health spells um things like concentrate on fertility and pregnancy um coping with illness and injury uh and we've got sort of like career sort of money spells sort of how to get a job that you want and you've got luck and justice spells and then you've got meditation and rituals and all about the espats and sabbats and yeah it's just a really nice book and there's sort of like a glossary at the back and yeah i love it I'll, when i've gone through it properly and had a read of it i will uh come back and do another video and let you know what i like what my thoughts were on it and also if you've if you have this book or read this book i would love to know down below what your feelings are on the book so the other book i got was a book called a creative writing journal by julian flanders and i've always um wanted to write a novel like when i was young i always used to be like writing bits of books and stuff and i just saw this and i was like it was a good price and i was like oh my god that'd be amazing and so there's more than 25 exercises of spark ideas and explore your writing style tips on how to construct your work and how to establish style and tone how to do research and explore the world around you for ideas information on basic rules of writing that need to be observed 
and I liked the layout of this book as well. It was only $5.99 and let's have a look. We got like a little introduction. Um then you get your tools of the trade, then where do ideas come from? So you have like writing there and then you have an exercise to do there. So the exercise for this one is write for 15 minutes on one of the following subjects. Describe someone who makes you angry, explain how they make you feel and why, or finish the thought if I could change one thing about myself. And then you have about getting organized. In this exercise, it selects an idea from your notebook on something that you heard or read about in the news recently. Use the space below to write a 10 minute burst without caring about the quality after 10 minutes. Review the material and use it to write a longer piece, for example, 500 words on the pages that follow. So yeah, so I really like. And then there's this one about finding time. And then there's an exercise on uh, set a time 15 minutes and continue the following story. It's not that way. So the man in the baseball cap is over there. Stop writing when the bell goes. There's all sorts of different, all different sort of exercises. The facts of fiction. There's all different sorts of basic rules of writing. It's all about storytelling and plots and and just the, the sort of like how tone and like mood and all different character development so i think as i have i think i've said before i have an idea in my head for like for or i have a couple of ideas for a novel and i really just sort of want or i need the help to sort of be able to get the ideas from up here to paper so i think something like that will be really helpful and then in Barnes and Noble, I had a little witchy spree. This one I was queuing at the till, and you know how in Barnes and Noble they have all the little like box books and stuff. And I was like, this is cute. So this is Everyday Tarot. The reason why I got it is I've been looking for a deck that is small as i have as i want to carry one with me on the daily and i have a um cute little pouch that i bought for my handbag and i was looking for a tarot deck that would sort of be the right sort of size to fit and yeah so that one is just perfect and it comes with a little a little guidebook as i really want to explore tarot more or get more confident in readings and stuff and i think this was 12.99 so I was pleased with that. This one I saw. Um, it's really, really pretty. It's by, I was just checking, it's not like super duper Ben. Oh no, it's okay. It's by someone called um, Akasha Moon. I follow her. If it's who I'm thinking it is, I'm sure it's a YouTuber that I follow. I'm sure it's a YouTuber that I follow and she's released a book. I could be wrong, but... Um, so this is Everyday Magic for the Modern Witch. It's called The Little Pocket Book of Spells. So I just loved... I love that sort of pastel colours. And I like the sort of... Um, the inside as well. So this book... It's just a cute little book that you sort of can just sort of dip in and out of. There's obviously... Ba basic stuff on um sort of like on uh, magic on the sabbats on the moons and then there's all sort of different stuff like on different spells like simple love spells uh there's stuff like, like spells for days of the week different tips like on incense there's like this one's like a bath time brew um that you can make waterfront spell marital bliss astral travel uh, to keep your lover faithful, uh, troublesome co co-worker or boss, fast money, sixth sense, to attract amnable spirits on the other side, to quiet gossip, protecting a child, magical enchantment. So there's all sorts of really cute, cute little spells and stuff in there. So I'll look forward to dipping in and out of that. And then the other thing that I got from Barnes and Noble, which was in the journal section, is the uh it's called the daily spell journal 
a diary of enchantments for every day of the year by patty with patty wing in turn i used to follow her on i don't know if she still does it she had no column or uh, um she used to write for it about it used to be about wicca and paganism um website i used to like be a subscriber to her, like newsletter and stuff so it's a keepsake journal and i like as well that it is undated so i can just add my thought was i probably i wouldn't use this every single day of the year but i like that i could just dip in and out of it and say on like i don't know june 21st or something i was i can just see what sort of spells for that day if it's something that resonates with me or something that i'm going through currently i can just you know just whip it together so i really like the gold foiling there's also a page marker as well which has a nice touch so each day there's a different spell so january 30 for example intuition magic so it has what you need and then at it it has what to do and then at underneath the spell there's a few line for spell notes to you can write how the spell how spell went um and your thoughts and all that sort of stuff and then there's a few note pages at the back like full pages spell notes so you can write more sort of notes and things like that so it's all different kind of spells in there so i really really looking forward to um to using that one as well so yeah that was my little sort of witchy book call and that coming live to you from the united states of awesome so yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh comment below on any of your sort of book recommendations or anything or if you read any of these what your thoughts are i would love to hear them and as always until next time stay enchanted Mwah.